see. And y'all don't understand why I feel the way that I feel. I had this ex. She uh, got me to stay in a relationship with her by using a threat of saying that I hit her. She was very verbally abusive. Um, after I got surgery on my head, she became physically abusive. And she made life hell with for me. She gave me a hard fucking time. She treated me like I was trash. I broke up with her because I was tired of the, you know, the way that she uh, treated me and whatnot. And the main reason that I was able to break up with her, whereas before I had the whole threat thing, was because she thought I was sleeping with my friend. So, she gave me a hard time, didn't want to, um, you know, take my name off of everything, because my name was on everything, like the place, all of the bills, everything, for her to, you know, take charge of that, she has her own life, and I go my own way, and I have my own life, right, because I didn't make enough money, I didn't have enough credit, well, I didn't have any money at that point, I, I left out of town to go stay with my friend. Because she kept putting hands on me. It was triggering from my childhood. And I felt like there wasn't but so long that I could take her hitting me before I was going to snap. So I had to get out of there. Only place I had was either my mother or my friend. I did not want to live with my mother. Because we never got along my entire life. It's things that she does, certain ways she feels, she's she's like a dictator, everything has to go her way, all she cares about is what she wants. I did not want to be treated like that, I did not want to live under those conditions. So I chose to stay with my friend. So, yeah, abusive woman. And guess who still has a picture that she created on the wall? One of the rooms in our house. My mother. This abusive ex. Who, mind you, her and her mother called my mother. And I don't know. I think they might have threatened her or whatnot. I don't know what they said. My mother wouldn't tell me what they said. But after whatever was said, my mother had this whole thing where she was like, she didn't want me to let anyone know where she lived at. So I'm assuming it was a threat. Yet you still have that that picture on the wall right then this other person said person so my birthday was a knife said person rather than them texting me themselves and hell I'd rather they just not text call anything don't contact me at all than do what they did because I've I feel like that shit was mad petty. So that person contacts my mother. Tells my mother to tell me happy birthday. Because I don't answer the phone or reply to texts. Now mind you, this person's birthday is a month before mine. I text them happy birthday. Don't give them no drama, no pettiness, nothing like that. Here's my whole thing. If Even if you feel like, oh, I, don't, I so-called don't reply... You would still text that person. You wouldn't text somebody else unless you're being petty. Right? And so, here's my whole thing. I checked the history on my phone. The phone I had for over four years. Typed their name in. Guess what showed up? Nothing. Now, mind you, my, my phone... Has been off several times. But what you're trying to tell me. Is that out of over four years. You just so. Happened to only call me. This year. While my phone was off. Okay. Okay. So. And it's irky to me because it's like this person mainly only contacted me. I mind you, there was a whole issue between me and her in the past because I would contact her. She wouldn't reply. I asked if I did something. The person was like, the world don't revolve around you. 
I'm asking if I did something to upset you. That means I make I'm having this situation revolve around you, not me. But since that was the whole attitude, it was like, you know what? I'm just not contacting them until they contact me because they clearly don't want to talk to me because they don't respond. And then when I talk to them, they have bad attitude and I don't like being treated this way. Right. But even despite that, every single birthday, I still text them happy birthday. That was it. Right. So this person mainly only contacted me whenever they wanted something. And then they would contact me and be nice recently after I did whatever they wanted me to do. Pretty much it. So my mother sits there and she defends this bullshit. And saying, oh, well, you could have a reputation of not picking up the phone or replying to texts. And then I'm like, all right, but I just text her on her birthday. And here, here's my whole thing. Um, the only case which you would do that is if you absolutely couldn't get in contact with somebody. Right? As far as like saying happy birthday. It wasn't some emergency situation where you had to talk to me right now. Um, I've recent like since the last time I've talked to you, you haven't tried to contact me. So it doesn't explain anything. Even if you're under that whole assumption that I never reply, right? Even if you have that mentality, that still doesn't explain why you would have to go through someone else to say happy birthday to me unless you tried to contact me and there was no way you could. But I literally have no call and no text and my phone literally hasn't been off on my birthday. So, yeah. But that's why I don't really get along well with my mother because she always gaslights me she always does that bullshit to me and she defends the women who do the same shit to me and it's crazy because you'd expect the mother to have her son's back but I guess that's just the whole woman loyalty thing you know defend another woman even if it's over your own son even if this shit she's talking about don't make any sense. Or maybe she, my mother just has some twisted ass fucking mentality. And that's why she does all the gaslighting or all, all the crazy shit that goes on in her head that don't make no fucking sense somehow that makes sense to her. I don't know. I don't get that shit. 